Our devotional thought today from the Old Testament comes from Genesis chapter 42. And I want us to take a look at Joseph's life. Because my theme today is just this. Joseph's life was not all easy. Let me say that again. Joseph's life was not all easy. Now, yesterday we saw that Joseph was put in charge by Pharaoh and put in charge properly. Private announcement before top leadership, public announcement before the people. We saw that Joseph took charge in a proper way. He first went out and began to expect, inspect everything. But now you and I look at Joseph and go, he's got it made. He's on easy street now. He controls great wealth. He yields great authority and power. From this point forward in Joseph's life, everything's going to be wonderful. But that's not the reality of what the scriptures show us. Look at chapter 43, verse 32, to begin to get a glimpse into the real life of Joseph. He said, the waiter served Joseph at his own table, notice by himself. And the brothers were served at a separate table. Now notice the next phrase. The Egyptians who ate with Joseph sat at their own table. They did not sit with Joseph nor did they sit with Joseph's, at this point, brothers, but he's not telling everybody yet. The Egyptians who ate with Joseph sat at their own table. Why? Because the Egyptians despise Hebrews and refuse to eat with them. The Egyptians despise Hebrews and refuse to eat with them. Joseph may be second in command of all of Egypt. He may yield wield great power, great wealth, and great authority. But Joseph faces horrible bigotry every single day of his life. How many times when he sat at banquet with Pharaoh and his officials, was there a private table set up just for him because they would not sit down at the table with him? How much bigotry and how much prejudice did he endure over an entire lifetime in spite of his great wealth and great authority? How many sneers did he face as he rode the chariot of the second in command through the city? How many comments and innuendos from those in Pharaoh's court? How, many, how much resentment did he face from people who looked at him and saw his wealth and his power and his authority? and were jealous and envious and despised him for it. Now, when you look at this, you go, Grabe, I never thought about what Joseph's life was really like. Yes, he was there to rescue Israel. Yes, he was there to, to hold the promise and to keep the promised people alive during great famine. And yes, he had great wealth and he had a big home. and He had a lot of prestige but he faced horrible bigotry every single day of his life. Now, here's my straight talk for you today. There's something you have to ask yourself. You know, sometimes we think about our workers overseas and we think that they have such a nice life. Well, first of all, it's not as nice as Facebook makes it look like because I've been in their homes. Their Facebook life and their real life, very, very different. But if you're going to go work overseas, I don't care what nation you go to, we're still Pinoy. Can you face the jealousy and envy when people look at your success, when God's hand of blessing comes upon you and you have success, when you get the promotion that, forgive me, person who lived there did not get, and you got the promotion and not them? Now, beloved, at some point or another in your life, you're going to have to realize the best place to prosper is right here at home. If you're going to prosper working overseas, you're going to have to be willing to face the bigotry and the prejudice. Life is not all that easy overseas.